Welcome back to our series on data handling for statistics. I'm Mark Ledbetter and this is Code Along file number 10. And so we're going to be continuing our discussion of matrices. I'm going to call this matrix matrices 3. All right. So we've cleared our environment, increased the number of lines, although again for this it's probably not necessary. Um, so last time we talked about the um, L2 uh, norm or length of a vector and we said that it was the um, Euclidean uh, length of the norm. So, and that is obtained by squaring each element of the vector, summing them, and then taking the square root of the sum. All right. And so with this vector x, um, when we did that, we, we ended up with 13.805, uh, 43, etc. Now, we also reviewed the inner product or the dot product. And so for an x, a vector x with itself, um, x prime x, um, we could uh, do that. And so x prime x, so t of x. And then we have to use the matrix multiplication of x. And when we do that, we get a single value, which is 190. And we also said that um, if we take the square root of this quantity, then we get the Euclidean norm, 13.80543. Okay. And so, um, so the, the norm is the square root of the dot product of x with itself. I also want to point out that you can take the transpose of x, which is a row vector, times x, which is a column vector, because all vectors are column vectors unless you take the transpose. You can also reverse this. Um, let's see, so I, I, let's see if we can do this. x times the transpose of x. See if that works. And it does, but look what happens. When you take x, x is a column vector, multiplied by a row vector, you end up with this um, matrix. It's a 4 by 4 matrix. So x is a um, 1, let's see, it's a 4 by 1 here. So x is a 4 by 1. Uh, matrix. So a vector is um, however many elements by one column. Okay, So it can be thought of as a matrix. And so when I take x 4 by 1 and multiply it by its transpose, that's a 1 by 4. Remember, this number here and this number here have to be the same. And the result is the number of uh, rows of the first and time and the number of columns of the second and that is why we got a 4x4 four four, um, object here. So I meant to talk about that last time and I did not so I want to put that in here. Control Shift C and then Control V and then um, that lines it up a better. A bit better. Okay. So um, x prime x prime x gives us a single value, a one by one. So when we do x prime x, this is a transpose. So that would be um, one row by four columns, and then x, if you remember, is four rows by one column. And so when we multiply these, we end up, the, this number and this number have to be the same, and we end up with the outer rows and columns here. Rows, columns, so one by one. Okay? Okay. And so that value was here. It gave us a vector uh, matrix. Did it twice for that one. 
All right, so it gave us a one by one matrix or, or a real number of one value. Okay, and this was our L2 norm for a vector. Okay, and then x times the transpose of x, so x transpose x or x, x prime would be this is uh, x, x prime gives us, a, in this case, because it was a 1 by, or 4 by 1 vector, it gives us a 4 by 4 matrix when we multiply the x by its transpose. When we tra multiply the transpose by um, x, we get a single value. So that's important, that the, the order is important. It's extremely important, okay? It's not the same thing. x prime x and x, x prime are not the same thing. And we, we also said that if I take um, a constant c times the vector x, then the Euclidean norm of this new uh, vector is simply the constant times the Euclidean, Euclidean norm of the original vector. Okay, So that's something we showed last time. I won't go through that again, uh, this case. All right right now. So we also talked about the transpose of the matrix. I put this in here again because we need um, to have the same matrix X and so I wanted to have the same matrix X so I'd have the results that I have below and we said that the transpose of X, T of X, is where we flip the rows and columns. We reverse or we interchange or exchange the rows for the columns. So this first row here became the first column in the transpose. The second row became the second column and the third row became the third column and so forth if you have more uh, rows and columns. Okay, So now we're going to review matrix multiplication. Um, remember X, let's in this case X, that's this one, is a three, that's there's three rows, by five columns. So it's a 3 by 5, so it can be multiplied by any matrix that has 5 rows and any number of columns. So if I want to multiply, I can multiply x by its transpose, x prime. Okay. So x, x prime, capital X, x prime. Okay. So I have a 3 by 5 times a uh, here's a 3 by 5 times a 5 by 3. So this number, these match, so I can do the multiplication. And then I'm going to get a 3 by 3 matrix. When I multiply a matrix by its transpose, I always get a square matrix as a result. Okay? Always. So here is X, capital X, times its transpose. And here is the 3 by 3 matrix that we get. So um, now I can take the transpose of x, which is a three, uh, uh, 5 by 3, and multiply it by any matrix with three rows. So I can certainly multiply it by its um, transpose. So I've got a 5 by 3 times a 3 by 5, but now I get a 5 by 5 result, not a, th a 3 by 3. So here's the 5 by 5 matrix that I get. So again, the order of multiplication for matrices is very important. It's not like multiplying two numbers where 2 times 3 is 3 times 2. That's not true in matrices. A times B is not equal to B times A. Okay. The order is very important. If they're not square matrices, then A times B will be a different size of matrix than B times A. Okay. All right. Assuming that, uh, or I shouldn't say B times A, A times A prime and A prime A, they're going to be different size matrices. Okay. All right. Now, so a key fact here is the matrix can always be multiplied by its transpose. And its transpose can always be multiplied by the matrix. And again, in general, AA prime 
is not equal to, the, remember in R, the exclamation point means not. So it's not equal to A prime A. And, and like I say here, in fact, A A prime is a 3 by 3, and A prime A is a 5 by 5. So very different. Okay. So I'm going to stop here for this video. So it's about 10 minutes. And we'll pick up here next time and talk about the determinant of a matrix. That's a much more um, complex topic. So um, again, I'm not expecting you to really know uh, matrix algebra, but I do want to explain it for those of you who are interested. Okay? So, um, so if you come across this in the future, this will um, help you you will have some familiarity with it, if I can say that word, familiarity with it, okay? So please take care of yourself, stay safe, because we want to see you here for the next one. Bye.